What's up everybody, my name is Victor and welcome to my YouTube page which is all about helping people navigate their spiritual awakening process. Today's video is going to be another book review. Well, it's actually three books. I'm going to go over three books that I think are perfect for newly, fairly newly awakened people who are interested in learning about how the nature of reality. Every, every person who wakes up eventually at some point will go through a stage where they just sort of come into new information about just like a, a different, d d d d like how things are a lot different than we've been taught in school and, and within our religions and whatnot. Talks about like you, you come to learn about aliens, and the Illuminati, and chemtrails, and like the evolution, and like the soul's journey, and what heaven's like. All these different things, you one way or another come into the information. And this video is going to give you guys three books that really helped me come into my own spiritual knowledge, you could say, that I think you guys would get something out of. Whether you've been down this road before a long time or, again, you're a newly awakened soul who's kind of got a thirst for knowledge. So my favorite one, which I have mentioned in other videos, is Dolores Cannon's The Three Waves of Volunteers and the New Earth. I recommend this author as a whole, Dolores Cannon because she's got a bunch of big, thick books like this that the, what she is, Dolores Cannon, she's deceased now, but she was maybe, perhaps, arguably the world's best hypnotherapist. And she was able to take thousands of clients deep beyond, uh, she had a, a name for it. I, I wanna say she was able to talk to the superconscious or something, she had a, a term for it. But she was able to talk to this person's soul, basically. and and just communicate. And this lady had a million questions for all these different people. And every everything, every session she's done, she's recorded and she's put into these books. And the messages that came through these people were like, they blew the, they blew the participant away. They woke up and like heard them. They were like, wow, I, I didn't know any of that. And really profound messages that really do resonate very deeply. I would, I would honestly, I think to almost anybody because it really, it speaks to your higher self, to your spirit self, kind of recognizes this. And you might, as you learn about this stuff, you might have um, certain emotions and, and like tears and, and a feeling of joy and your heart might feel very like well up with like love. It's, it's a pretty profound experience when you remember, when you, when you attract into your life a source that provides you with something that you already knew but had forgotten. It's like a memory almost when you learn about a lot of this stuff. But The Three Waves of Volunteers is a particular book that talks about the light worker people and how the earth is ascending, the earth is shifting dimensions and raising its frequency so it can make this big massive shift into another dimension. And that's not exactly an easy task. And there's like a, a rule where all like the ET beings that kind of are looking over the earth, they, they really can't get in too involved. They, like listen, these we have an agreement essentially where uh, we kind of want to be left alone. We want to do our own thing. We don't want to be helped too much. But things were getting out of hand if you haven't noticed looking out into your world. So the plan was that there'd be a lot of like souls from other dimensions and other like like extraterrestrials that agreed to kind of come in here as a volunteer. Just come in here knowing they would be different, knowing they would pick up quickly on the, the they would be able to sense the increasing frequencies and, and kind of ride with it and, and uh, uh, essentially be able to ground and, and like bring forth in the, these newer dimension, these newer like frequencies. So I would kind of help other people and it also helps the collective consciousness raise up. If this sounds all weird, man, read this book. It explains it a lot better than I did. But this again, if uh, it just talks about the volunteers and a lot of you guys watching this video are volunteers, whether you remember or know it or not. And this book, is probably my absolute favorite book. I've read it many, many times, at least certain parts of it. And it's just really helped me not feel so weird and out of sorts when I was feeling very weird and out of sorts. <laughs> All right? Another really cool one, which it's been a long time since I've read, but it's called, uh, Nothing in this book is true, but it's exactly how things are. It tells me just kind of like, uh, Yeah, it says, they're all here, gray, gray aliens, ascended masters, free energy, cattle mutilations, crop circles, rebirthing, earth changes, the Great Pyramid, and secret colonies on Mars. 
all this like all this cool information it talks about Atlantis I think stuff like that you know the, the Anunnaki how the human civilization is essentially like a hybrid race of it has like ET genes like a genetics mixed with what is it the uh, the Sasquatch that's kind of what we were and that's why we, we kind of like evolved kind of rapidly as a species it goes into all this it's, it's pretty cool man pretty I read it very quickly a very fun book goes into like sacred geometry and your Merkaba and all that kind of cool stuff just a very jam-packed book with a nice variety of a lot of really cool metaphysical information that I think you guys would at the very least and just simply enjoy reading whether you see it as like an infallible source of how things actually are that that's uh you take take what you take what resonates with any of this And this is Michael Newton, the PhD, Destiny of Souls. He's like another uh, hypnotherapist. But he dealt primarily, this is kind of what I was alluding to with talking about Dolores Cannon. He taught, the way he does it, it's more about like just the soul's journey in like the earth realm. How we, we choose to incarnate here. We come from heaven, you could say it just for argument's sake. We come in here, we have a life kind of planned out for us. We talk it out with a bunch of the different people who are going to be in our lives. We do this to learn certain lessons and then we die and we kind of are back in like the ethers and heaven and like the higher realms where we get to kind of like review, okay, how'd you do? How'd you do in this life? Let's, uh, okay, let's kind of like gear up for the next one and, and go, you, so you talk to like your, your mentors and your, your people and you plan out your next life. It kind of goes into more that, but right now, very crazy, you know, this has been going on for thousands and thousands of years, these different incarnations over and over and over, this reincarnation cycle of the earth plane. Now, we're getting to a point where we are kind of breaking free of the whole reincarnation trap, you could say. We're kind of lifting out of karma, and it's gonna open up a lot of opportunities for a lot of us. Um, but it's still very interesting. It really helped me see life in this vastly broader perspective. Like, wow, this is just one little life that I did plan and the ultimate purpose is not so much to follow what everyone else is doing who seem to be completely unaware of why they're really here and just to learn to evolve yourself as a soul and learn how to be more loving, more wise and do whatever you are passionate about doing as the, the best you can do and just be good to people. It's just kind of like more simple than that and just reading all these different accounts, it just kind of helps your brain believe it. Because what I'm just saying might sound like complete nonsense. And I totally get it, man. If I would have watched this video 10, 15 years ago, I would have probably turned it off by now, quite honestly. It just sounds way too out there. But when you read rational, intelligent, believable people over and over and over and over and over again, as they, they share these very similar experiences, it just it, you, it's kind of hard to deny. And also the information does tend to resonate deeply in your body. You can kind of sense truth for the individual, for you, in your body. When something is, you're being, when you're hearing or reading something and it sounds off, you, you feel like a, a, a glitch in your body, a, a, a heaviness, like a, uh, you just somehow, this is not right, you know that. But when something rings true, it's the opposite, especially when it's very like transformative information. It like, it feels very good. It feels very light into your body. And that's how, for me, a lot of these, uh, the books were for me. Okay, so that's it, guys. I won't really ramble too long. I'm going to leave the links to these books below, and you can go and check them out on Amazon. They're probably 10 bucks a piece. Again, the first one, Dolores Cannon, I recommend any of her books, but that one is my favorite. So with that, I will close, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys still want me to keep making these videos once in a while about the book reviews. I enjoy doing it, and I really think that a lot of you guys are at a, a level where these sorts of books will be just a perfect fit for you. So I hope that has that positive effect, I'm assuming, on most of you. And with that, I will close. Namaste.